Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Um, <laughs> I can wish you that. Yeah, you. Um, could, could I ask you about um, Sadio? Um, he's on a difficult run in front of goal at the moment. And when he missed that chance the other night, you probably wouldn't have seen it because you're on the touchline. But there was a look of kind of, it wasn't disappointment, it was disbelief. He couldn't believe that he'd missed that chance. Now, obviously, you can't teach him how to put the ball in the back of the net. But what can you do to to kind of help him from a mental perspective, to, to kind of, you know, keep him going and try and keep his confidence up? Um. I said there's no problem with confidence, but of course you, you like the momentum in f finishing wise is not there in the moment. You can see that. Otherwise, Sadio plays really well. Uh, actually, funny story this morning, my um, and uh, one of our analysts knocks on my door and asks, "Boss, do you have two minutes?" And uh, so I, I actually made a video to show Sadio how much he contributes to our game and how how good he is in this moment, how good he is there, how good he is in these things, situations, um, and. Obviously, it, what the intention was um, to show that he's not too worried. They should not be too worried about uh, that. He's not the finishing is in the moment not there, uh, but he is still an incredibly important player for us. That's actually the view we have on it. So, you, as a striker, or most I wouldn't say all, but pretty much all strikers had to go through these kind of things. It happened to Sadio before. He came out of that. He scored for us incredibly important goal and uh, goals, and I'm pretty positive that he has a good chance to score one on Sunday. So um, after that, he's then away for a few for a few weeks. Um, um, and we have, then he's coming back and then we can talk about all the things for this game now. Um, it's it's all fine. He's, how I said, he's, he's too important for us that we only would think about um, these kind of things. You have to take these kind of things from time to time. Yeah. And then after that, it will be good again. We work on it. Football wise, but it's not about now talking and putting a finger in it and making it bigger than it is and all these kind of things. Um, yeah, we, other, we missed other chances as well. So, but of course, we all know Sadio finished situations off or more difficult situations off for us already in other moments. They're human beings. That's how it is. Thank you, Simon. Uh, with Joe Bernstein. The next one, Joe. Yeah. Uh, Jurgen, uh, for us, uh, Mo Salah is a hard player to read emotionally. He doesn't show a lot of emotion maybe compared to Ronaldo you always know what Ronaldo's thinking um so when I was just wondering if you could tell us when when Mo like misses a penalty or he's in a bad moment which doesn't happen often is he someone that is what that gets worried about it he has sleepless nights or is he quite chilled and thinks oh it's no problem I'll, I'll score the next one how, how does he react to adversity if you like neither nor first of all we don't we don't have now a lot of experience with Mo uh, dealing with crisis or, or whatever um, because he didn't have to um, with the penalty it just makes him more greedy to to score a goal in the game usually it didn't happen in that game but we have we, how i said we didn't play a really good game if you bring him more often he had another really good chance if you, if you bring him more often in, in in promising situations i'm pretty sure he would have finished it, one of them off um yeah missing a penalty yeah so it's tough, especially now if you have to rebound as well and then go on the crossbar. That's of course unlucky, no doubt about that. Uh, but that's it, pretty much. They are they are they are top 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 class players, uh, and they deal constantly with failure. That's our life. So if you if you would know, and in the best game, we, the boys play how many things didn't work out, and they have to deal with it during a game. So that's that's what you learn pretty early as a footballer. And the better you are. The more often you will fail because you come you come constantly in in these decisive moments and none of us nobody of us had ever um, succeeded in all difficult situations so um yeah that's how it is um it's um i'm not sure but kobe bryant i think is still uh, the, 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 one, the one player with the most missed situations in in, in the nba history and is anyway was anyway one of the greatest player ever you have to try it. You have to come in these situations. Then you can fail. If you fail there, no problem. Go again, and everything will be fine. And that's pretty much the mindset. Uh, Mo is in, and and Sadio as well, by the way. Thank you, Joe. And uh, this is going to be the last question, guys, just because we've taken quite a bit. So uh, probably the hand we didn't get to. We have gone just purely in there. Johnny, finish. Hi, Jurgen. Hi. Uh, happy Hogmanay. Um, I've got. I've got, <laughs> I've got quite a gen. You can ask Robo what that means. I've got quite a general question for you. Um, I think Liverpool and Chelsea are two of the best teams in, in football at using the wide areas. 
Uh, and I just wondered what your philosophy was to using those wide areas in, 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 in modern football, but also whether you think that Trent and Robbo and, and yourself have helped create a bit of a, a revolution or have influenced other teams in having fullbacks who are so creative and, and important to the attacking part of the game. I don't want to go too much in detail, to be honest, about our playing philosophy. Um, mm -hmm. Using the wide areas, yes, is important. They are there, so it's a part of the pitch, you know, like all other areas as well. But we still know that um, the goal is pretty central. Um, means, yeah, you actually you use the width to attack the center. That's pretty much uh, the sum up um, of what we try to do. Um, so all the things end up in the center, and that's where where it should end up. How you get there is obviously not massive difference. So yeah, there are differences, obviously. Let me say like this: um, City as Chelsea has um, placed different systems, so they have the wings um, occupied by the wing backs. We do that with full backs. City is doing that with with wingers. Um, it's just a different setup with different positional players in a similar area. Um, that's it. If we are on top of our game, it's difficult to deal with. If the city is on top of their game, it's difficult to deal with. If city is on top of their game, it's difficult to deal with. I think so. They they score more often from these positions, from the wide positions. Like um, Alonso famously, Rhys James scored a lot of goals. Uh, we prepare more from there, um, but that's it pretty much. It's. We could talk already about that. We could talk for hours. Um, unfortunately, this is the wrong <laughs> forum to do it. Okay, thanks, Jürgen. Okay, You're welcome. Okay. Okay. All the best, everyone. Happy New Year. Yeah. And, uh, Happy New Year. Yeah, Cheers. All the best. Stay safe. God bless. Bye -bye. See you probably.